Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we have another pit stop episode for you guys. We are at Finnegan's Bar and Grill here in Universal Studios, Orlando. We're going to be showing you guys around the restaurant. They also have a themed, I guess, merchandise store yeah. um, that goes along with it. So we're going to show you guys around, show you the menu, and hopefully show you a couple of different dishes. Because we are going to be yep. eating here several days, so we're going to put those in the video for you guys just so you can see a couple of different dishes that are available but if you'd like to join us let's go so this is absolutely one of our favorite restaurants we're super excited to eat here um, we are going to be eating here multiple days, so we'll try to show you guys some different types of dishes, but we're going to go ahead and head inside. Finnegan's is located in the New York section of Universal Studios. Also, there is a separate entrance to the bar if you are not eating at Finnegan's, but want to visit the bar instead. This entrance is located to the left of the dining check-in stand, located at the restaurant entrance. We are going to go and check in for lunch here at the hostess stand. Since Seth and I had a reservation today, we should be seated soon. If you're wondering how to make a reservation, check out the video on screen now. So now that we have been seated, let's check out the menu. So we do have to scan the QR code here to see the menu. So Seth has it pulled up for us and um, they have their starters. This is all on Universal's website. Um, so you can reach it without the QR code, but they also have soups and salads, as well as um, some favorite options that they have. Um, the shepherd's pies on there, Seth so really likes that one. And let's see, just a couple of other dishes it looks like. They have it separated by sandwiches and a couple of other options. Keep scrolling there, Seth. They have their drinks, of course, Coke products. And that's it. So um, if you guys want to view the menu yourself, go ahead and scan this QR code. So we've requested some of the um, soda bread. This is by request only, but it is no extra charge. So um, be sure to request that if you guys eat here, but it does come with apple butter, which is delicious. We do have two uh, plates here as well. So Seth got what is called the half and half. It is half heart and half Guinness which you can see by the coloration there. It looks like they put the Guinness in last. But I just went with a traditional Guinness, um, which will go well with my Guinness beef stew. I'm, I'm sure it'll pair very well, but we'll let you guys know what we think in just a little bit. So as we mentioned, you do get this soda bread. It is paired very well with the apple butter. And uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty well portioned, this split for two people, especially it's like an appetizer. Um, but as you can see, it's a pretty um, hearty, portion here. So once again, I got the Guinness beef stew. Nothing else really seemed that um, interesting to me. But Seth got some chicken wings. I think you got hot, right? And um, we also got some fries as the side. So it's pretty traditional for us to put the malt vinegar on the fries and dip them in ketchup. It gives it a little extra something. Um, but we'll tell you guys what we thought of the drinks and the food after we eat. Let's check out two more dishes. So we've gotten our food. I got the Guinness beef stew, of course, with a Guinness to drink. And what did you get, Seth? I got the shepherd's pie with the root cellar vegetables. That's a go-to for Seth. And also, this is my favorite as well. So we'll check back with you guys in just a minute. So now that we have eaten, let's check out the bar, relax, and listen to some awesome music. I went down the spot and This walk-up bar is full service and has awesome cocktails. Also, the team members are amazing and professional. Some of our favorites from this stop are Guinness on Draft, Harp, and the Mummy's Revenge cocktail. However, as a full service bar, the team members can usually make you a variation of most classic drinks.
So now let's go across the street and check out the Irish store, which is home to some awesome Finnegan's merchandise along with some other unique items. So we are at the Irish store we were telling you guys about. As you can see, they have some really cute merchandise. Gonna show some of you guys that merchandise now. So of course they have a lot of Guinness merchandise. I actually have this shirt here. Not really sure if it's a men's coat or not. Didn't really care. But I also have this t-shirt here. They do have some socks and just some t-shirts and some classes. They also have this sign here that tells you how many days you have left until St. Patrick's Day, which we just had St. Patrick's Day in March, but looks like 350 more days until St. Patrick's Day. And we actually have these t-shirts here, these Finnegan t-shirts. Um, looks like they have some new hats. Seth has the, it's either gray or beige hat with Finnegan's, um, the Finnegan's logo on it. Looks like they've updated the hat just a bit. Like I said, just a lot of like St. Patrick's Day and Irish Ireland themed merchandise in here. Personally, I really like the Guinness merchandise. Um, it's really, really cute and it's good quality and it's just fun. It's just a little fun outfit to wear. And I've actually never seen these before, but they have some earrings. I love these. They look like little champagne glasses as well as they even had some Simply Southern merchandise in here, which is new to me but that's awesome and if you guys did not know they can ship to your room Thank from you this so location much. and most locations here at universal they can um take your package and send it to your room usually it takes about a day so um, they'll ask you for your room information and your checkout date so be sure to have that handy before you check out so you can um just skip hauling around your merchandise um, all day and instead get it sent to your room. All right guys, so we are all done here at Finnegan's Bar and Grill. All the dishes that we got are completely awesome. My favorite is of course the Guinness beef stew. It is amazing. <laughs> it is something I look forward to every trip. It is very savory. It comes with the mashed potatoes and the um, like carrots I think are in it and onions. Um, kind of mixed in with that, but it is awesome. But what was your favorite dish? Uh, the shepherd's pie. Yeah. Uh, you can get the shepherd's pie at a couple of the Harry Potter locations here in Universal, mm -hmm. but uh, this one has slightly uh, larger portion, and I and think it's a, it seems a little better. Yeah. Uh, I much prefer it. Yeah, and um, we got a couple of different drinks. I usually go with either the Mummy's Revenge or just just a Guinness. Um, we can we usually can't find any places at home that usually have that on draft. A couple of places do, but we always look forward to that here. But this is one of our favorite restaurants. And even if you're not eating here, be sure to uh, try out the bar. You can walk oh, yeah. in without a wait and come right up to the bar. So that's always fun as well. Even if we're not eating lunch or dinner here, we always try to do that. And the team members are awesome. Mm -hmm. we, we absolutely love it here. So we'd absolutely recommend this restaurant to you guys. Um, and we hope you get to visit soon. But of course, we hope you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and tell us if you've ever eaten here before. But until next time, we, we hope, hope to see you on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.